everyone says leopard geckos are a fantastic beginner reptile, but are they really? We're gonna talk about five reasons you might not want a leopard gecko. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. And I currently have Queso, my leopard gecko's enclosure open to see if she wants to come out. Usually she does if the door is open. So I'm keeping an eye on it. She might join us for this video. Otherwise, I'll just put videos of her over top of this video. So personally, I always find it very important to make sure you know exactly what you're getting into before you get an animal. And that includes the reasons you might not want an animal to make sure that you are game for anything that involves caring for that animal. So though leopard geckos are an awesome first time keeper animal, they still have some things about them that some people just aren't that into. So let's talk about it. Number one, and it's a big issue I hear a lot from the people that aren't team leopard gecko, that's that they need to eat bugs. They are an insectivore. So if you don't want to keep live bugs on hand or in your house to feed to your leopard gecko, you might need to look for something that's a little more herbivorous. Some people say, well, can't I just use canned insects? First of all, ew. Have you ever opened a can of insects and like taken a whiff? Gross. But also canned insects, they're good as a treat and to add variety to your animal's diet, but as their primary food source, they just don't cut it. Live insects are very valuable because you can gut load your live insect with beneficial vegetables, to make sure that your insects are of a good nutritious quality before feeding them to your reptile. The second reason is they're a pretty common animal. Some people don't want something that everybody else has and they want something a little more unique. Now, this is nothing against the leopard gecko. This is more just a keeper preference. And personally, I kind of err on that side where I want animals that are more unique, that other people might not have or that aren't that common. That's why I only have one leopard gecko. I only have one bearded dragon. I only have one corn snake. Because though I love those species, I don't want multiples of them. I want to save room for the animals that are more unique or maybe have a little more complex care that can provide me with more of a challenge. So just something to keep in mind. The next reason, and one that we mentioned in our five reasons you might not want ball pythons video, is that they can have morph issues. So just like ball pythons and some other animals, leopard geckos come in various morphs. And some of those morphs do come with various issues that do increase the difficulty of caring for that animal, but can also decrease their quality of life. So you do have to be careful that you know which morphs are questionable or you should stay away from and which morphs are relatively safe. To learn more about this, I recommend checking out Jessica's Animal Friends here on YouTube. She's done tons of videos about this topic because leopard geckos and special need leopard geckos are kind of her bread and butter. She is, dare I say, the expert of leopard geckos. So if you're thinking about a leopard gecko and you wanna learn more about this topic, definitely go check her out. And you can tell her I sent you. The next reason, and if you know anything about leopard geckos, it's probably the reason you've been waiting for, and that's that they can drop their tail if they get startled. Now, in my experience, they're not gonna drop it as easily as say something like a crested gecko that literally could drop it for God knows what reason, but they still are capable of dropping their tail. And sometimes that can make people nervous when it comes to handling them. My leopard gecko queso actually has a regrown tail. So the good news with these guys is if they drop their tail, they can regrow it. It's just not gonna look as good as it did the first time around. Queso's tail looks like a balloon as opposed to a nice carrot. And I don't know the backstory on her dropping her tail, she came to me with her tail already regrown. So all I know is at one point in her life, she did drop it. So that is something that kind of stresses some people out when it comes to working with these animals. And the last reason I wanna mention is their long lifespan. Now you run into this with so many reptiles, but on average, leopard geckos can live up to be about 25 years old. So if you don't want an animal for 25 years, leopard gecko might not be for you. Now I worked with two leopard geckos at a zoo, the zoo that I was a zoo educator at. And I, if I remember correctly, they were both over 20 years old. Now it might've been like 20 and 21 or like 19 and 21 or something like that. But they were fairly old leopard geckos. And according to Reptophiles and her research, 
As of 2019, the oldest leopard gecko reported to date was 40 years old. So you could potentially have an animal for like 30 to 40 years. So if you think about that, this isn't just a commitment to a pet. This is like a marriage. You could potentially have that animal for a long time. Now I know a lot of people out there have leopard geckos. So if you have anything to add to this list, be sure to add it in the comments below. And if you have any more questions about leopard geckos, also leave those in the comments below. We're all about learning and growing here. And that's it for today's video. As always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next one. Bye.